Every day, Biruti's assistants lead groups of orangutans into the forest and bring them back to the center before dusk. When the vets are sure an ex-prisoner can feed itself and cope with the social aspects, it leaves the care center to be released in the heart of the jungle from Camp Leakey in the National Wildlife Park. For Baruti, the priority candidates for freedom are the mothers with babies born in captivity. In the wild, an orangutan juvenile or an orangutan immature does not leave his or her mother until he is at least seven or eight years of age. The orangutan infant is literally attached to the mother's body. They have a very intense emotional dependence on the mother. Suddenly the mother disappears and the orangutan infant is left on his or her own in a small cage or, you know, attached by a chain. So uh, they suffer enormous emotional damage. Clinging tightly to their mother's fur until they are four years old, babies learn the gestures essential to survival and discover the vegetation and fruit essential for their food. Skilled botanists, baby orangutans can recognize over 400 different species of plants. Babies grab food from their mother's hands or mouths. Some scientists claim that these monkeys develop their placid, kindly natures because of the exclusive attention their mothers lavish on them up to the age of eight. Tree climbing is not the easiest of sports, and choosing a liana which will support your weight is a very special skill. This gymnastic exercise is essential to avoid falls, especially with your mouth full of food. Orangutan mothers suckle their young until they are three years old. Here, an older child, nine or ten years old, jealous of the newborn, tries to get back to the breast. Its mother systematically pushes it away, but it keeps very close to her before learning to live alone. Although 40 meters above the ground, she encourages the baby to act on its own. Gradually, it gains self-confidence and learns independence. But always alert to the smallest danger, she constantly protects it. Orphans are brought up using a method devised by Biruti Galdikas. Each baby is entrusted to a designated foster mother. When the baby cries, the surrogate mother comes running. These Dayak women bottle feed them and give them a lot of affection. Young American primatologist Rebecca is a volunteer. The children's nurses hardly speak. Their protégés do not have vocal cords, and the guardians seem to lose the gift of speech themselves. Sanul spends much of his time at the nursery. His job is to stimulate the older children and develop their play skills. I was born in Borneo. Yes, I've always lived here in Pasir Panjang. Since I was little, I have lived with the orangutans. I'm an only child and I grew up with them. All my family has worked here for a long time. The professor gives work to the women. They are the foster mothers of the baby monkeys. These orangutans are my brothers and sisters. Goodbye, I'm off to play with my brothers. Okay, silakan. <laughs> Yeah, good boy. Yeah. 
some more? Okay. The former prisoners often prefer to stay around humans rather than the other orangutans. But Sanul encourages them to play together. These small brawls are a social ritual in the life of the primate and an essential part of their apprenticeship to life. As their muscles have atrophied in captivity, some orangutans can no longer climb trees. To overcome their fear of falling, Sanul stimulates them with games. The mission of everyone at the center is to teach the youngsters everything their mothers would have taught them. The top priority is to ensure that they become attached to the trees that feed them. Orangutan monkeys live in trees and spend 80% of their time in the leafy tops. Their prehensile back legs and long muscular arms are built for climbing. These big anthropoids stand upright, but their feet are not designed for walking, so they seldom go down to the ground. Their territories are defined by their food supply and fruit trees in particular. Three trees can be enough, but sometimes they pick over 50 in one day. In fact, they spend more than 60% of their time feeding. For this acrobat, the smallest bud is a delicacy savoured without letting go of the branches. Basically vegetarian, they add protein to their diet by sucking up termites from rotting tree trunks. Male orangutans reign over big territories and tolerate no other males in their domain. Their solitary way of life means the species has to live in a vast jungle. Of all the primates, orangutans are the only ones not to live in packs. They repel undesired guests by the quick kiss, which expresses their displeasure. Males start to mate when they are 12 years old and become fully adult around 18. They only seek the company of females to perpetuate. Unlike other monkeys, the orangutans generally mate face to face. 